Hey my fellow follow cover and me. It's DJ from Character Brother. Welcome back to the channel. So the first thing I have to do is I have to cut my hair. I haven't cut my hair for like maybe a week and a half, almost two weeks. The reason why I cut my hair, as you can see here, in my thin area here, the way I cut my hair is to actually blend that so it's less noticeable and it makes it easier to apply my hair fibers. It gets harder to blend the hair fibers in if the hair around it is too long. So trying to cover bald spots, especially large bald spots, is really, it's hard with hair fibers. So just keep, I like to keep my hair short. So I forgot to charge the battery on my clippers here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to finish the rest of it. I'm gonna have to finish the rest of it with um, my other clippers, which don't cut as close, but for the purposes of the video, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's such a stupid mistake. So you'll notice that I actually cut my hair following the hair transplant scar. Uh, guys, yes, I have a scar from my hair transplant and there's nothing I do about it. I knew I was gonna have a scar before I even had a hair transplant and it's okay with me. I've lived with this scar for like, shit man, it's like seven, eight years now actually. And um, I've never had a problem with it. People don't talk about it as much as you think they would. I'm also pretty blind, so <laughs> I gotta put my glasses on for this part. So I got the, everything's faded here, everything's blended in. You can see here, I went ahead and faded it. Okay. So now, um, it really just depends for the top. If the top is getting longer, uh, I'll, I'll do something with it. Right now, uh, you can notice like I'm thinner right here in the middle, right here. So in this case, what I might want to do is this little dark patch here. Maybe I'll thin that out a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not gonna touch it. Uh, because the hair fibers will fix that part anyway. So now we just line up the front. So my hair is cut. This is how I wear it all the time. I've been wearing it like this forever. Um, so you can see, even with the scar, it follows the fade right there. All right, so it's all faded in. Okay, so I just finished washing my hair. As far as shampoo goes, I'm using this Nizoral. It's basically an anti-dandruff shampoo, anti-fungal shampoo, but it's really effective at keeping your scalp clean. I just started using this about a month ago. Um, I've heard about it for a long time, but I've never actually tried it. Um, but my scalp definitely feels cleaner with this. I use it twice a week, because I have a really oily scalp anyway. And I noticed it kind of keeps that oil in check. So maybe think about picking some up. I'll put a link in the description for all of the stuff that I'm using here. All right. Now this is where I would actually apply like my minoxidil. And so I would put minoxidil here on the crown, on the top of my head here, my hairline. But I don't have to worry about that today because I already did that earlier this morning. Also for derma rolling, I'm using a one millimeter every two weeks. Okay, so I actually derma rolled yesterday. And so I'm not gonna do it today. I'll put a card up here where you guys can click uh, and try to see how to derma roll. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna apply the hair fibers. And we're also going to conceal the scar. Now, as far as the hair fibers go, I've made this video before, but I'm gonna do it again since we're just doing the whole routine. Pomade is the key, okay? This is Sunny Isle Castor Oil Pomade. It's the best pomade that I've found for the method that I use because it keeps the hair fibers like in place, you know. Hairspray can't even come close. I know a lot of you guys use hairspray, but as far as like black guys go, like hair pomade is unbeatable. Unbeatable because hairspray is a joke on my hair. 
So we'll go ahead and apply that. You can see on the back here too. Play around with different amounts of pomade. Um, I used to use a little bit of pomade because I was like completely bald back there. But these days I use a bit more pomade because I have more hair on top of my head. Now I also used to blow dry my hair to get it to lay down. Um, so I would put a wave cap on. I would put the wave cap on. And I'd wear the wave cap like this and I'd blow dry it like this to get the hair to lay down. Um, but I'm not gonna do it today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just showing you guys how I apply it, so I don't need to worry about that right now. These are my hair fibers. Um, I got it covered up right now with the label because I don't like the label that, that we have so far. Uh, but we'll have a new label soon. The deadline to sign up for the free samples is the 30th. That's two days from now. All right, March 30th. Make sure you sign up. The link's in the description below. As soon as I get the samples, guys, you'll get them. We're looking at May right now because of everything with the coronavirus. So those are still coming. We haven't forgotten about them. You guys haven't seen the two-step sieve system it's right here so the method that i use is called tap and pull if you're not familiar with it i'm gonna teach you right now a lot of guys like to shake the hair fibers on the head i don't do that i do tap and pull if this is not new for you skip ahead like a minute or so but i'm gonna explain it for those people who've never seen me do this before um, a lot of people take the hair fibers and they'll just like shake them on top of the head like this uh it goes everywhere um so i don't recommend doing that instead you're gonna let it hit the top of your head like this and you're gonna pull it down like this. Occasionally, you might see me use my finger and like tap like this. That's fine. Also, especially right here, you'll see me do that right here on the top. So here's the part where I'll actually use like the finger tapping here on the outside. All right, so I'm gonna turn it just like this. I'm not gonna like dump it like this. And you're just gonna turn it, you'll see it fall out like that. Like that. And then I'm gonna tap it like this. And it just comes out like that. On the hairline, I'm just gonna turn here and I'm gonna tap it in like this. that keep in mind guys I got this big light shining on my head right now so it looks uh, thinner than it actually is because this huge light shining so you can see it just looks maybe some thin areas but it's not actually noticeable so um, keep that in mind when you're applying it yourself if you're one of those guys who rock like a super crisp hairline the way I just applied it is more for like the natural look where you can kind of see through the hairs and each individual hair but if you want like a super thick crisp hairline I'll put a video card up here click that it'll teach you how to create a super thick hairline and the hairline does not move at all no water is going to move that so check out the video okay so here's the part where I actually conceal the scar it's really easy using an eyebrow pen I actually made a video about this a couple years ago but um, it's the whole routine let me show you how I conceal the scar
And that's it. You can see that from this distance. And it's actually pretty hard to see the scar unless you're really looking for it. Of course, if I come right in here and I turn my head, of course you can, you can, you can see the scar, but most people ain't up on you like that. And if they're up that close to you, they probably don't care that you have the scar anyway. So that's it guys. That's my whole hair loss routine. Um, of course, cutting my hair only happens weekly. So that takes time. It takes like maybe 10, 15 minutes for me to cut my hair. But as far as like the using the pomade, the hair fibers, and if I use the eyebrow pen, this process probably takes me about 10 minutes, 12 minutes max. Hopefully you found this video helpful, guys. If you got some kind of value from it, hit the like button and share it with your friends who also need to see it, okay? My name is DJ from Carrington Brotherhood. I'll see you in the next video.